Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Leute, ich bin auf jeden Fall sehr hyped. Ich bin hyped auf. Ich freue mich, wie ihr schon mitbekommen habt. Heute haben wir einen Special Guest am Start aus Traders. Ich bin excited, Leute. Ich hoffe, euch geht es erstmal richtig gut. Dort mal eine 888, wenn es euch gut geht, wenn ihr einen produktiven Tag heute gehabt habt. Bro. Dort mal eine 888. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ich hoffe, ihr seid hyped. Leute, bevor wir hier anfangen und starten, wollte ich euch schon eine kleine Sache mitgeben. Und zwar, wie ihr mitbekommen habt selber, wir haben heute einen Guest aus Amerika. Und die meisten Leute, immer wenn ich die frage, wie war dein Tag so, wie war, wie, wie, wie war dein Tag produktiv? Und immer kommt die Antwort, es war gut. Ja, mein Tag war richtig gut. Und ja, ich habe heute, ja, mir ging es gut und, und so weiter und so fort. Aber Leute, gut ist nicht gut genug. Gut ist nicht gut genug. Menschen denken, gut ist gut genug, aber gut ist nicht gut genug, weil wie ist gut, wenn du Durchschnitt bist? Wie ist gut, wenn du Durchschnitt bist? Wie ist gut, wenn du Durchschnitt bist? Weil jetzt wir zum Beispiel, wir sind ein Team, wir sind ein Business, eine komplette IAM Family, aber ich sehe Business wie Sport. Das ist nichts anderes, wie wenn du Fußball spielen warst. Wer war mal von euch alle, hatte mal von euch alle, Wer war mal im Sportteam, Fußballverein oder Basketballverein? Wer dort mal eine 888 rein? Wenn ihr irgendwas sportlich macht, dort mal eine 888 rein. Und wer von euch ist mal gewechselt? Wer von euch war mal bei eurem Team der Beste? Hyped up, war gut. Er war gut, ist mal gewechselt. Dann war es auf einmal nicht mehr so gut. Dann war es auf einmal nur Durchschnitt. Weil da andere Top-Player sind. In komplett anderes Niveau. Auf einmal bist du nicht mehr Durchschnitt, du bist unterdurchschnittlich. Und wie wir mitbekommen haben, haben wir jemanden aus Amerika. Er ist gerade wie auf dem gleichen Rang wie die meisten von uns. Ja? Und das, das hat mich so, mich hat das, mich fand, ich fand das interessant, weil hier in Deutschland, wir sind, wir, weil wenn wir, ja, es ist wie eine Competition, aber wir machen die Competition so, ist quasi mit uns. Wir vergleichen uns unter uns. Aber I am ist riesig. Über 350.000 Leute. Und wie gut seid ihr dann, wenn ihr mit anderen in der Competition seid? Versteht, versteht ihr meinen Punkt, Leute? Dort mal eine 111, wenn ihr versteht, was ich sagen will. Dort mal eine 111, wenn ihr versteht, was ich sagen will. Ja? Und deswegen würde ich euch sagen, Leute, da ist auf jeden Fall noch Luft nach oben für uns alle. Da ist noch Luft nach oben für uns alle. Ja, wir sind gut, aber gut ist nicht gut genug, Leute. Gut ist nicht gut genug. Wir müssen selber aus uns rauskommen. Wir müssen selber aus uns rauskommen, weil äh, die Marines sagen immer so schön was, was Schönes und zwar Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's why they die with their potential. Oh, 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 oh. Let me, lass mich das wieder holen. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. That's why they die with their potential. Leute, ich bin auf jeden Fall sehr excited. Ich will, dass ihr es mitnimmt. Kommt auch euch selber raus. Wir werden heute Value bekommen, was crazy sein wird. Ich frage mich, Bo, ist, ist er schon drauf? Ist er schon? Zoe, are you here? Are you here, my man? Mm. Bo, ja. Daniel, ist er, ist er drauf? Noch nicht, Bro, noch nicht. Noch nicht? Okay, dann dauert es ein bisschen. Kein Problem, kein Problem. Ich habe eine Idee, auf jeden Fall. Und ja, Leute, es ist wichtig, auf jeden Fall, ihr wisst Bescheid, dass man sich persönlich weiterentwickelt. Und wir werden auf jeden Fall eine kleine Challenge launchen jetzt für die kommende Woche. Uh, und ähm, zwar, ich würde mal gleich mal was in die, in die Gruppe droppen. Und zwar, uh, wir haben heute Samstag und ab morgen, ab morgen uh, werden wir wirklich, jeder einzelne von uns wird einen Mentorship-Call haben, ein kleines Video, uh, was Minimum 14, 15 Minuten geht, was wir uns anschauen können pro Tag, weil es ist wichtig, dass wir uns vor allem als, als Leader, weil jeder von uns ist wirklich ein Leader in diesem Call, einfach niemals austrocknen, dass, dass wir immer Value haben, was wir weitergeben können. Je größer der Mehrwert ist, den du geben kannst, umso größer ist dein Team, weil in diesem Business geht es einfach nur darum, Probleme zu lösen. Uh, und selbst wenn du gerade denkst, okay, dieses, diese Mentorship Call bringt mich nicht weiter und so weiter und so fort, dann schreibst du dieses auch für dein zukünftiges Ich, dass wenn du auf deine Notizen guckst, genau weißt, okay, jetzt habe ich die Antwort für meine Probleme, für mein Team und dass ich das Ganze einfach weitergeben kann. Und uh, ich würde einfach mal ein Bildschirm mit euch teilen, Leute. Oder nein, wir machen das anders, ich schicke das einfach in die Gruppe. Und zwar, ich habe hier eine kleine Liste erstellt mit dem jeweiligen Tag und dann einen Link zu dem jeweiligen YouTube-Video. 
Und wir können uns das Ganze einfach anschauen, wie wir das so machen, dass jeder Einzelne von uns sich dazu committet, ja, einfach mal ein Bild davon reinzuschicken, wie er bis zu den bis 0 Uhr oder an dem jeweiligen Tag, können wir sagen, ähm, ja, das Video geschaut hat. Warum habe ich das jetzt aufgeschrieben? Moment. Ah, ja, jetzt habe ich es. So, perfekt, Leute. Leute, lasst euch mal im, im Chat zeigen, wenn ihr euch dazu committet, wirklich jeden einzelnen Call mitzunehmen, mit fleißig Notizen zu machen. Und ähm, ja, das ist einfach mit nur einer Person, Leute. Zwei. Let's go, let's go. Bring mal diesen Chat zum Leben. Yes, sir. So, das ist sehr wichtig, Leute. Uh, und es sind wirklich Mentorship-Calls, die mich aufs nächste Level gebracht haben. Und genau. Ist schon irgendwas, Bro? Ist er schon auf dem Call? Dory, are you here? Ist <lacht> <lacht> er drauf? Oh, ich denke nicht. Will, is that you, bro? Yeah, ich glaube, er ist drauf jetzt. Ja? Dori, are you there? Are, are you there, my man? Warte mal auf den Chat zu spielen. Chairman 25. Dori, are you there, my man? Also sein A-Plan ist auf jeden Fall da, ne? Ja. Daniel, oder? Ist er drauf? Ich mach mal Daniel frei. Dorian heißt er. Hey, how you doing? I'm waiting for um, Dorian right now. Um, oh, okay. I'm actually a Chairman 10. I'm a Chairman 10. Right yeah. now. Yes, oh. sir. Daniel, how are you? <laughs> how you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually a Chairman 10. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for Dorian right now. I'm literally... You know, waiting for him. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, there he go. He said, make me oh, host. Okay. Bro, Wally, do you want to do you want to edify my man? Let's go, bro. You're uh, to be stone, bro. Do be stone. Yeah, it's it. Yes, sir. So I make a edify. I'm so excited for this call, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited. I'm really happy and thankful that you actually found the time for us, even. We are not his cross line, not his downline, nothing. But this individual is so humble enough to help us go into the next level. Yeah. He helped us to go into the next level. A few, day, a few days ago, I had a call with him and he helped me and he helped me to, to give me some value for my actual, actual situation. And he offered me to, 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 to do a call for us. And man, I'm so excited. Like in this call, he told me like, chairman is not, chairman is not a wank, chairman is a mindset. And this guy is definitely, he got a chairman mindset. He got a chef from his body of his soul. He's already a chairman 750. Like this man, so I don't want to take longer, no further ado. So please be excited for the Mr. Certified Chairman, the man, Dory, take it away, brother. The best in the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody, drop, drop some flames in the chat. Drop some flames in the chat. Everybody, drop some flames in the chat. Yeah, let's get it. 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 Hey, I'm so, so, so excited. I've been waiting for this call for a good while, man. I've been waiting for this call for a very, very good while. Now, I know my man was speaking about me, but let me just say something about him. Understand, this man here, he say I'm humble. He is extremely, extremely humble. You know, when I had made that call with him, he was taking nothing but notes. He was letting me know, like, yo, I'm taking notes. You know, I was checking in with him. I'm like, yo, just make sure you're taking notes with the stuff I'm saying and just supply it. He said, bro, I got you. And I said, look, whatever I got to do to get you on a call with, with my team and my people, just let me know, and I'm going to do it. 
And that's exactly what he's doing. So I'm truly, truly excited. I'm so excited to say that my brother Donnell is on the phone, on the call with us as well. Um, he's a chairman team. Um, understand he's the reason why I am who I am today. You know, he, he literally built me up into the leader I am today. And I'm truly excited to spread the knowledge and everything that, that was uh, put onto me. So the first thing that I really, really, really want to get into is that, understand guys, we're in the fourth quarter. You know, we're in the fourth quarter. Understand the space that we're in is not normal. Understand we are in the fourth quarter. Now, understand when it comes to the fourth quarter, we're going to have times to cry. We're going to have times to weep. We're going to have time to party, to cry, to play, laugh, joke, and even, even be happy and have a lot of joy. But at some point, it's time to win. It's time to win. And honestly, when it comes to the fourth quarter, you know, it, it's really a separation season. It's time for everybody to literally separate yourselves. Understand, like, I listen to a lot, a lot, a lot of big, big, big leaders. And one of my big leaders that I, I, I always listen to, his name is Brandon Thompson. Drop in the chat if you know an individual named Brandon Thompson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I speak to him all the time on Instagram. He always giving me a lot of value. Um, I literally, literally always plug into his calls when he have them on Instagram Live and all kind of stuff. I spoke with him a couple of times on Instagram too. You know, one one big thing he told me to do is keep running, keep running, and always spread value even to those who are not in your back office and all of that stuff. So that's exactly what I want to do for you guys. Um, and one call that I have to um, that I want to uh, like pretty much go through with you guys. He was talking about like going through the motion of the separation season. Understand like. In this time, understand, we're, we're going to have to literally develop our mindsets in order to get to where we want to go, you know. So first and foremost, what I want to do, hold on one second. I lost my screen. Oh, one second. Can you guys still hear me? Yes, sir, bro. All right, bet, bet, bet. You can still hear me, you can still hear me. I'm trying to fix my screen real quick. Because on my end, it's frozen. One second, one second. Oh, one second, guys. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. We're good now. But yeah, so one thing that um, Brandon Thompson always talked about, oh, he was talking about uh, separation season. Now, when it comes to separating yourself, you have to ask yourself, what, what are you willing to really sacrifice? Who are the people are you willing to literally step away from? Who are you willing to cut off when it comes to sacrifice? Like, sacrifice is very, very big. And that's what I had to realize what I had to do in order to get to where I wanted to go. I had to separate myself from a lot of people. I gave up my job. I was a full-time barber at one point. But I had to give up the things that I love in order to get to where I want to go. And that's one of the biggest things that I love about my man for uh, like edifying me and everything. Cause he, he really, he really, I, honestly guys, like you're all going to hit chairman. You're already chairman. All right. You're already chairman. I'm going to make sure to say, shit, it keep, hold on. It keeps freezing up. I think it's my Wi-Fi. We can hear you loud and clear, bro. Yeah, my phone on my end is keep, just keep like freezing up on my end. Hold on, guys. You can just keep talking, bro. We can hear you. Dorian? All right, so I'm gonna just talk even on just uh, because I know he just texted me, said, Can y'all hear me? and I'm telling him, Yes, we can. 
Um, but when he comes back on here, you feel me? Uh, I just want to introduce myself. I know he's going to talk about Brandon Thompson because he do look up to him a lot. But if y'all want to hear about, like, my personal experience, you know, drop some fire emojis in the chat real quick. Drop some fire emojis in the chat. If y'all want to hear about my personal experience, um, you know, it wasn't easy, you know. But if you have goals, you know, to accomplish, you know, you'll get there. Right? So I'm just introduce myself really quick. Like I said, I'm very honored. Um, I know Dorian was talking about this call for like a little minute. And I actually seen he was like, okay, bad they on. I was like, who's on? And he's like, dude, from Germany. I'm like, yo, you feel me? I said, let me hop on. Right. So I'm, I'm really excited right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not nervous. I'm just like nervous and excited, right? So um, like I said, my name is Darnell Bush. I'm a chairman 10. Um, I grew up, you know, in Sanford, Florida. So I actually know Dorian. Right, me and Dorian grew up way before Forex. Right, not gonna lie. Right, me and Dorian grew up way before Forex. Um, he used to see when I used to get in trouble in school and stuff like that. You feel me playing around a lot, but we're here now. Right, I just channel my energy somewhere else where people appreciate it more because I used to play a lot. Right, but um, I've been doing this opportunity for a year. So can y'all type in the chat um how long y'all been in this opportunity? How long have y'all been in this opportunity? Okay, a year. Right. Six months, 13 months, right? So we got some babies and we got some people that have been there for a little minute, right? I need you guys to understand, right? If you can dedicate your time, oh, a week? Oh my goodness, bro. You're like a baby, right? You're gonna, you're gonna get there, right? Just start, that's wonderful, right? So I need you guys to understand this. If you can dedicate, right, 12 to 18 months, right? Fully, fully focus in into the information that's being given, right? So the Zoom links understand you have access to six to seven, eight figure earnings, right? I'm pretty sure everybody want to be six figures, you know, seven figures, eight figures in their bank account, right? So I need you guys to understand you have access to those people on Zoom links, right? Double one in the chat, that makes sense, right? A lot of people outside this opportunity don't even know an eight figure earning, right? A lot of people don't even know a seven figure earning. A lot of people can't even just talk to a six figure earner. But you have the opportunity to talk to a six-figure earner, right? So we have to be very appreciative, right? And I need you guys to understand, before they hit six figures, they took some losses, right? They took some losses. Uh, you know, there's a process to everything. You know, a lot of people, um, I know for a fact, uh, for me, you know, when I joined this opportunity, um, my family did not see the vision that I saw, right? My mom didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure she's seeing it now, you know, right? But my friends, my closest friends, I'm talking about my best friends. Right, they, they didn't see the vision that, that, that I saw. I'm like, yo, how are we so close, but you don't see my vision? We can go rich, we can get rich. You feel me? Right, but understand, I want you guys to understand this. As long as you see your vision, right, as long as you have your goals and you're surrounded by like minded people. So, how many people is on this call right now? Um, 55 people. If y'all could surround each other around each other every single day, right, fully locked in, focused, right. You can move faster and far together, right? Don't be that person you in the opportunity, but you hang it around other people that's not in the opportunity. You feel me? You're only doing yourself a disservice because you're taking advice from people that's not even in the opportunity, right? You can leverage people, but you can also leverage the wrong person, right? Uh, I don't know like what sports y'all play for real, for real, but for example, let's say you want to play basketball. And then you have somebody, you know, that played tennis or whatever, want to teach you how to play basketball. I understand you're not going to learn how to shoot because that person that you're leveraging is not good at basketball, right? Double one and try that makes sense, right? You need to leverage the people that's in the opportunity with the results that you want to have. And I'm pretty sure Empire, right, the Empire, I'm pretty sure he has the results that a lot of people want to have. So y'all need to leverage him, take full advantage. If you're not, okay, look, if you're not blowing up his phone, Right, like I said, I don't even know him for real, but I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure he has the results that a lot of people want, right? If you're not calling his phone every single day, you don't want it for real, right? Um, the Empire, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you got their number, right? They got your number? They should have your number? Sure, bro. Thanks, right? So look, if you're not calling his phone every single day, you don't want it as bad enough, right? I need you guys to understand. He's going to try to call you. Right, he's gonna try to bug you, but you can only want it as much as you want it. Right, he can do so much, he can try to put in so much, 
But if you really want it, you will hit up his phone. Right? And that's me being so real to you. Right? A lot of people try to look for the best mentors or the best team. No. The mentee attract the mentor. Show me you want it for real. If you say you really want it for real, show me that you really want it for real. The empire, he shouldn't be like this. Dang, they call me my phone every day. I'm like, oh, yeah, this dude is hungry. Right? And guess what? Now, guess what? Right? Now, now that y'all call him every day, he's going to give you some sauce. He's going to put you around people that you've never been around. Right? Because you're showing that you're willing to work. You're showing him that you really want it. Right? There's going to be times where, you know, um, the empire may not feel as good for today. You feel me? He may not want to hit up anybody. But if you call him, right, you're going to cheer up his day because you're like, okay, bet, you know, um, it's bigger than me. You know, I have to talk to him because, you know, they want it as bad as I do. You feel me? So make sure y'all taking up on him as well, right? Um, also, where are y'all located from? Like, I don't, like, what part of Germany or, like, I don't know. Like, I'm from America, so just drop, like, where y'all from? Like, where y'all from? All across Germany. Oh, this is fire. I like this. Cologne. This is fire. This is fire. I don't know if y'all know what fire means, but it's like fire. You feel me? Like, this is this is good. And it's in Germany. Yo, that's OD. I ain't gonna lie. I have a I have a, I have a lot of energy. Um uh, my team know I have a lot of energy. Uh <laughs> for real, for real. Right? Because I feel like law of attraction is very real. Right, so if you, I don't know if y'all have Netflix over there, but if you ever watch like The Secret, uh, whatever you say or whatever you want to do, it will come to you. You feel me? So if you speak negative things, you're gonna get negative things that's gonna come back to you, right? But if you speak positively, like I'm so happy and grateful now that you know I make a million dollars in my bank account. I'm so happy and grateful now that I make a million dollars in my bank account. I'm so happy and grateful now that I made a million. If you keep saying that over and over and over, what y'all think is gonna happen? You're gonna receive it. Right, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman 10 by December 31st, 2020. Right? I want you guys to understand. If you want to go, if you want to go chairman, drop fire emojis. If all y'all want to go chairman right now, drop fire emojis real quick. Let me just see. If I want to go chairman, drop fire emojis. All right, so I'm here to tell y'all. Right? I'm here to tell y'all. It's already done. It's already done. You have to be chairman up here first before you receive it. You have to think rich up here first before you can get rich. Right? So I need you guys to understand, you have to program it in your mind first. When it gets to your mind, it can flow in your body. Right? 2,500 every single Friday, that's nice. No lie. This is nice. This is nice. Right? But I remember the $37.50 too. I remember the 150 every week too. I ain't gonna lie. P600, I thought I was rich. I ain't gonna lie. P600, I thought I was rich. I was like, yo, they're giving me 150 every single Friday, right? When I was in college, I was getting $20 every two weeks. So I was like, bro, they gave me 150 every Friday, bro. Look at my, I'm rich. Look, y'all, I'm rich. Like, I was just like, bro, I'm having. You feel me? But it's, it's such much, it's like, once you appreciate the little things in life, you can appreciate the bigger things in life, right? Once you appreciate the little things in life, you can appreciate the big things in life. And that's what you call being grateful for what you have. Right? A lot of people, you don't understand that. Um, I don't know if y'all had a little disease going, but like the COVID-19 and stuff, you know, I need you guys to understand a lot of people is not getting income in our area, you know, but we're still getting paid for that. Right? A lot of people is not getting income in that area, but we're still getting paid. I'm still getting 2500 every single Friday. I can, I can throw my mom $500 just because. Right? Imagine giving your mom 500, right? But imagine if you wasn't in this opportunity and your mom is asking for 500. I'm like, mom, I do not have that. Right? But if she asked for 500, mom, you know, that's like $5. I, you can get that. Right? And I'm talking about you not even worrying about it. Right? So I want you guys to understand that, you know, no, the people around you guys, like this call alone, y'all can go very, 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 very far. Right? Y'all can go very, 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 very far in life. Right, but y'all have to stay dedicated. You have to stay committed. You have to realize what is in front of you and, and the people behind you. Right? That eight-year-old, right? That eight-year-old person is waiting for you to change your life. 
Like, um, if y'all know David, um, C750, drop a one in the chat. If y'all know David, um, drop a one in the chat. Chairman 750 in the organization. All right, I see a lot of ones. Now, if you know Bryce Thompson, drop a three in the chat. He's also a Chairman 750. All right. Did you know, all right, did you know when David started, you know, I'm Academy, Bryce was eight years old. When David started I'm Academy, right, Bryce was eight years old. So what I'm telling you guys right now, that eight-year-old that you're walking by can come into your business and you they can come and hit Chairman 750, right? So you can never give up. I don't care how tough it get. I don't care how big of a retracement. I don't care if you lost every money in your account. Entrepreneurs, we are like tough people. We're built on concrete. We're not built on liquid. We're not soft. We don't cry. It's going to be time where you are going to cry, but we're not going to cry to quit. I can't do it anymore. No, I got to keep going. That's the cry that we need. I got to keep going. We're going to need that. So I need everybody to say, I'm going to continue. Right? I need everybody to in the chat say, I'm going to continue. Right? I'm going to continue. Yep. And then after you say that, I need I need to keep it going real quick. So I'm going to continue. Right? Then after that, say, I'm not going to quit. I need everybody to see it. Right? I'm not going to quit. Everybody's looking at your comment. Now, if you quit, you not only lied to yourself, but you lied to us. And I hope you're not going to lie to me. And I hope you're not going to lie to the Empire. I hope you're not going to lie to Dorian. I hope you're not going to lie to Byron. I hope you're not going to lie to all these people on the call that just dropped. I'm not going to quit. Right? And I need you guys to understand that this opportunity is very good. Right? I always told my mom, I said, Mom, I can get rich and wealthy without working a job. I haven't worked a job for a whole year. And I've been in this opportunity for a whole year, right? You got to sacrifice some things, guys, right? Don't try to balance too many things. If you put your focus, focus stands for following one course until successful, right? Following one course until successful, right? Put your all, put your focus into this. I promise you, you will never have to worry about a dollar again. The empire is going to make sure you are okay. You have to trust them. If you trust the empire, I need you guys to drop a two in the chat. If you trust the empire, drop a two in the chat. I need you guys to trust them. Because y'all can go a long way with unity. Unity can bring y'all a long way. I don't care how rough it get. I don't care if y'all up together, you know, and y'all have no money to pay for food. As long as y'all trust each other, right, the end goal, y'all going to have enough money to pay for the whole place. Right? You have to think like that. Right? Oh, he changed the name to Daniel. All right, back. Because I was calling him the Empire. Appreciate you, bro. You feel me? I appreciate you. All right. Uh, also, um, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is um, underscore, underscore Darnell Boat. All right? So that is my Instagram right here. Um, I think Dorian, I don't know if Dorian ready. Let me text him real quick. I know he's on the call right now, but let me see if he's ready. Uh, let me see. Are you good? I just texted him, so I'm about to see what his response is. But I really, really do appreciate y'all. Um, like just to talk to y'all about, you know, around the country. That is OD. So what I'm gonna think about doing with my team, I want to travel to Germany, and we're gonna meet up. I want to meet up with y'all. Right? How y'all feel about that? Do y'all want to do that? Or yes or no? Can y'all can we do that? I wanna I wanna try to find a way if I can get my team to Germany. Like we can do that, bro. I think I think that would be OD. We could probably do it next year for real, so I can make sure like my team got the funds as well. I need to go hit Chairman two, two fifty, Chairman one hundred. You know, you know, right? But Dorian did say he's um, you know, he's good. So I think you can pass it back over. But I really appreciate you, Daniel, for real, for real. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all. Thank you for your value, fam. That's that was crazy, man. And I really, I am really looking forward to a see you in Germany, bro. It's gonna be lit. We're gonna be in Houston, bro, next year for the for the convention. Let's go! <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, man. So yeah, Adora, I'm gonna passing up to you, bro. Uh, let's get it, my man.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, like that, that is really, really like my brother right there. Like he, when I say he taught me everything I know, like I'm literally him. Like I'm literally like a duplicate of him. Like he's the reason why I know everything that I know. And one thing that he really taught me is about moving with love, right? That is the only way you're really going to become very successful in this space by moving with love. Now, I want everybody to drop it, drop in the comments. Do you believe that you're truly going to hit chairman by building? Just type of, type of one, if yes. All right, all right, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, I just want everybody to know that you're not going to hit chairman by building. You're going to hit chairman by getting results. You're going to result your way to chairman. You're not going to build your way to chairman. You're going to result your way to chairman. How are you going to get results, Dory? You're going to get results by hopping on calls like this. Hopping on calls with the people that have the results that you want. You have to ask yourself, how am I going to develop somebody if I'm not personally developing myself? That's the question you got to ask yourself. So in order to get the results you want, that's when it comes back to sacrificing. What are you willing to give up? Who are the people are you willing to cut off for a while? What are you willing to do more of? to get to the next level. See, cause we always write down like our goals. I got a lot of goals right now, you know? <laughs> but like we always writing down like our goals and where we want to go in life within this opportunity. But when it's time to sacrifice something, we all get quiet. Now that's, that's like the 1%, right? But moving with love is what's really, really going to get every last one of you to the next level. And it's all about unity. If everyone moves together, you're going to move very, very far. Because you, you, you can smash the ranks. You, you may get the P1, P6, you know, maybe P2 by yourself. But I promise you, if you move together, every last one, you're going to hit chairman. That's the difference. Moving together. You can't do anything by yourself. If you take one finger and try to push somebody, you're not going to move them. But if you take a fist, <laughs> you take a fist and try to move somebody, you're going to move them. You got to look at the – take a fist – and, and pretty much look at it as it being a person. I mean, a, a lot of people together. Moving together is going to get every last one of you to the next level. Now, I wanted to get back to pretty much talking about um, the person I truly admire. I look up to him. I spend hours and hours and hours literally studying this person. I don't have the results that he has right now, but I definitely have the results as far as how he thinks, the way he moves, you know. And it comes about duplication. Now, the way you really want to duplicate people is if someone tells you, like, pretty much, I want every last one of you to really apply what you just heard from a, ch a chairman, uh, chairman 10. You have to apply it. Because one thing about it, good note takers, I see everybody um, taking notes. And I'm really very, very, very proud of every last one of you. You're taking the notes, right? Understand, people who take notes are good test takers. People who take notes are very, very good test takers. But the people who become the notes, the people who apply those notes are the ones who make the most money. Because you, you, can, you can have all the notes in the world, but if you don't apply them, it means nothing. It's just like knowledge. We all have been to school. Some of you probably went to college. Hey, I'm in college. You know, I went to college. I learned a lot of stuff, but it's not applied. So it's lost. So everything you learn every single day, I want to make sure you guys like really, really apply everything that you learn. And that's how every single one of you are truly, truly, truly are going to get to the next level. Now, one thing I love about uh, David and Manichi is he's literally like a walking gym. You know, I, he might as well change his name to, to uh, David Jim, David Manichi Jim. Cause he's literally a walking gym. And he, and he always talks about how, you know, the really just moving with like pure love, you know, helping the people that's not even in your organization. Like none of you are in my back office or in my organization, but I'm going to give you the tools that I give, my, give the people in my business. I'm going to get on this call and give you guys 110%, even if you're not in my back office. Why? Because I know the blessing that's going to come back is going to be 10 times fold, right? If you give the people outside of your organization the same exact energy you give the people in your business, you're going to go to the next level. It's going to come back 10 times fold. Every last one of you, I'm pretty sure, want to retire your parents. Everybody on this call wants to retire their parents. They want to get that $10,000 withdrawal. They want to be able to tell their mom, you don't, you, don't, you don't have to work no more. That's the vision. 
That's a vision that God put in your head. Whoever you believe in, the higher power, they put that vision in your head. And that's what you have to realize. The vision, God put that there. And all you have to do is activate. Everybody on this call has to activate. You're not going to go anywhere in this space if you don't activate. If you don't activate now, when are you going to activate? You, have, you literally have to activate. You have to. And that's just literally going to get every last one of you to the next level. Now, in this space, understand, it's going to get hard. You're going to have times you feel like you want to give up. You're going to have times you're going to cry. I cry a lot. And, you know, my, my why is just that strong. But understand, if, you don't, if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not strong enough. If your why doesn't make you cry, it's not strong enough. Stop taking your own advice. You have to, first off, you have to stop taking your own advice. I stopped taking my own advice a long time ago. I'll tell my brother Darnell, look, whatever I got to do to get the chairman 10, just tell me. I don't care what I got to do. You tell me to jump, I just, I just might jump off that cliff if you tell me to. Because you have the results that I want. And that's what it all comes down to. And that's where it, it, it really starts off with just never, ever, ever giving up. Because one thing about this space, like I said, it's going to get very hard. Success and failure is literally the same exact thing. I learned that this morning, and I applied it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get on this call with them and say the same exact thing Chairman 250, um, Jay Stu, told us. He said success and failure is the same exact thing. It's longevity. If you give up, understand your test, you're going against the test that God put in front of you. God is testing you when he sends you uh, um, adversity in your life. So imagine if you decide you don't want to keep going in this opportunity. Adversity comes, you decide to quit. I'm just here to give you a heads up. God is going to test you again. Whoever you believe in, the higher power, he's going to test you again. Different environment, same concept. Different environment, same concept. But I promise you, this time... He's not going to be very nice about it. He's going to be a lot louder this time. I'm just giving you a heads up. You know, I have some people in my business that call me a um, preacher DJ. You know, I'll take it, you know. Um, and that, it really comes down to, like, you really want to make sure you're spiritually up oh, 20%. Can't have that happen. Let me plug my phone up. But, yeah, it all comes down to, like, you really want to be in tune with what's really going on. Because I just want you guys to really understand, like, what this opportunity could really do for you. Like, I want everybody to really just close their eyes. Every, everybody close their eyes. Like, everybody on this call, just close your eyes for a second. You know, it, it won't be long. Just, just, just picture yourself. Give your mom those keys to that new house. Just picture yourself being able to take care of your family. Telling your mom she don't have to work no more. She's waking up every single day cooking breakfast early in the morning because she don't have to work no more. Your grandmother's not even thinking about retirement because you sacrificed. Your brothers, your sisters, your cousins are living a life that they have never lived before. They're living a lifestyle way better than you all because you sacrificed. You got to scope your eyes now. Understand that that is the vision. That's the vision right there. God put that there. God put that put that vision in your head. He put it there. And it's people that still decide that they don't want to keep going. And it really hurts me. It hurts me when somebody tells me that they, they, they're giving up. It, it truly hurts me. You know, one thing I have, I want to give you guys one little, like one story before we, we, we get to an end on this call. Now, I want you guys to really take what I say. And I, like this story is really going to touch every last one of you because it, it touched me. Now, a couple of days ago, I was at a rec center, you know, like a boys and girls club. If you don't know, it's where a lot of kids go to play, you know, and have fun, you know. So I was there and some people was talking about, you know, President Trump and how he caught the coronavirus and his wife caught coronavirus, right? And I, that's when I jumped up and said, you know what? 
this is the opportunity for me to give value to these people. So I told him, I said, look, I made $1,000 off of uh, President Trump and his wife catch coronavirus. They're like, huh? How did that happen? I said, well, I was selling, I, I had sold um, Nas 100, made almost $1,000 off of that. They was like, wow, how did I start? I showed them the screen recording of that. Every last one of those people in that room, it was about 10 of them, got on the three o'clock webinar. But it, was, it wasn't even about that. But the one person who really stood out to me, she was 87 years old. 87. When I got done talking to these individuals, I, was sit, I sat back down at my desk, took my laptop out, and started studying. Right? And she came and sat down right next to me. She sat down right next to me. She said, son, I didn't really understand the project that you're doing, but I just want you to know that I really, really need this. I really, really need this. I said, ma'am, I said, yes, ma'am. I truly understand that. She said, no, son. I don't think you understand. I'm like, I'm listening. All ears open. I'm listening, man. She said, well, my husband died a couple years ago, and I wasn't really able to travel a lot. My kids, my brothers, I have a brother and a couple sisters who passed away as well. I'm here alone. My only son moved all the way. He's actually in Germany. He moved all the way to Germany, and I'm here by myself. I want to travel. I want to live the life that I want. But I can't. But I wasn't able to because my husband didn't like to travel. I said, wow. She said he didn't like to travel, so I didn't travel. I only been to about five states in my entire life. 87! 87 years old, she said she haven't been to no more than five states. I said, how many times have you been to these states? She said, if I tell you, I only could count on one hand. Less than five times. She stood up and I said, ma'am, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you can live the lifestyle that you want. She said, I need $40,000 before I can leave and retire. But I can't do that with this job. I went to college when I was younger, but I wasn't able to pass the uh, test because I failed about a decimal point. I went to college and I wasn't able to uh, pass it. They didn't have uh, financial aid and all of this stuff you guys have now. I wasn't able to go to college. I said, yes, ma'am. Well, I'm gonna put you in a webinar and we could chat a little bit more after that. I kid you not, when she walked away, tears was literally coming down my eyes as she was telling me this. Because I want everybody to understand this. And the reason why I told you that story is because understand that people don't want to join this opportunity, they need it. They don't want to join this opportunity, they need it. Everybody drop in the chat, they need it. The world needs my energy. Everybody drop in the chat. The world needs us. The world needs us. And we have people who decide not to get on the call. You don't want to click. What kind of passion do you have when we have people out in this world who literally needs this opportunity, not want it, but need it? But you don't want to hop on the call. You decide you don't want to spread this opportunity. What kind of passion do you have when you have people out here who need this? What kind of passion? We got people who don't want to click a Zoom link, learn this skill and pass it on to, to generation to generations. We got people scared to get on the phone. But we want to go chairman 750. We, we want to go to the next level. We want to hit chairman. We want to retire our moms. How about we take ourselves out of the equation? Now, like I said, people always talk about me become, me being the preacher over here, you know, pre preacher Dorian. Now, you know, it's one scripture in the Bible that I love. It says, all things through Christ, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Drop a one in the chat if you all, all know, that, know that one line. I'm pretty sure everyone heard it in their life. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me.
and that that is a very very powerful powerful scripture line right there you know i i've literally moved with that scripture in my life but how about we just think about we we is a lot more a lot more powerful see we always too busy thinking about i and not really thinking about we we hop on the calls because you want to not for your team we can do all things through christ which strengthens us we can do all things through christ that strengthens us how about we say we instead of i how about you do things for we instead of i take yourself out of the equation because i promise you once you bring people into people into this opportunity you no longer matter your problems no longer matter we can do all things through christ which strengthens us the world doesn't like it when we get when we unify when we come together the world doesn't like that people don't like it when people come together we can do all things through christ which strengthens us and that's the biggest problem because people only think about themselves you still waking up at one o'clock in, in the afternoon you want to wake up when you want to wake up oh man i'm not hopping on this call today man i don't feel like it it's too much i instead of we how about we start learning for our people how about we start spreading the opportunity for our people start developing for our people don't develop for yourself develop for your people because they're following you the people in your business is following you they're not gonna care about me hitting chairman 10 they're not gonna care about me dropping no no damn blue screens they're not gonna care about the profits they want to know what you're doing they're following you so if you could do it understand the people in your business are going to believe they could do it too by <laughs> You know, this is really, 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 it, it always makes me very, very emotional because I have the business in my heart. See, we have too many people that are in the business just for them. And you know, it's people that are just in the business and then there's people who have the business in their heart. I'm speaking purely for, with, with a whole lot of passion. So you gotta figure out when, do you, when are you going to activate and when are you gonna have the business within your heart? If I see somebody in the store, I want to ask them, hey, how, how, how long have you been working here? Because I have the business within me. How long have you, have you been working here, man? I've been working here about a year. I've been working here about a month and a half. I'm, okay, do you like it? Not really. Most likely, they're going to they're gonna say they don't like it. And you know what I'm going to say? If I showed you an opportunity to make money from your cell phone, would you take it? If I showed you a million-dollar opportunity, would you take it? Most people don't even believe that it's real, so I show them. But that's what comes with having the opportunity within yourself. You shouldn't even be able to pass anybody without passing this information down. I can't even see someone walking the dog without me screaming, hey, hey, I got this opportunity that can really change your life. That's because I'm thinking about we and not just myself. I'm thinking about you all becoming together, growing together, not thinking about myself. I'm not getting paid to do any of, this, any of this stuff. I do it because I love to do it. I love every last one of y'all. Y'all don't know me from a can of paint, but I love every single one of y'all. Understand that vision? One more thing, and I'm out of here. That vision, just remember, God put that vision in your head. Now, all you have to do is activate. All you have to do is activate. And it's already done. C10 is already done. Chairman 750 is done. You've seen the vision. You've seen yourself driving a nice car. You've seen yourself uh, retiring your parents. You've seen it. You've seen it. But you just have to activate. And I promise you, every last one of you are going to get to the next level. Daniel, you know, I really, really appreciate it for uh, putting me on this call. It has truly, truly been an honor. I really, really hope I gave every last one of you some good nuggets. I just love for everyone to just feel my energy. You know, I, I just want everyone to feel my energy. You know, if, if you really, really love what I was talking about, please drop some fire in the chat. We're we about to set the roof off. I need everybody to stand up. Because, see, we're about to end the call with the chairman screen. But you know what? We're not doing no chairman screens around here no more. We're doing chairman celebrations. See, because when it's a chairman celebration, that means it's intentional. But we're about to do a chairman celebration. Now, when I count to three, Understand, like, I want everybody to unmute themselves and scream to the top of your lungs. I don't care what you are. 
I don't care if you're at work. You, if you got to go to the bathroom, turn the water on, whatever you got to do, we, it's time to activate. And there's too many people that are scared to, you think you're too cool to activate. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. That's exactly why you're going to end up staying in the same position you were last year, because you don't want to activate. One. Oh, don't play man. with this. Do not play with this. Your family's counting on you. Your brother's counting on you. Your grandmother, your cousins, your sisters, every last one of them are counting on you to activate right now. Two. And you almost there. Ah, uh, shit. We almost there. Are you guys? It's time stand to up, activate. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Yeah. You don't stand up and activate. When are you going to activate, baby? This okay. shit is me. Y'all, man, I'll see y'all later, bro. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Boy, that's my crazy. <laughs> that crazy. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to drop my Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I already did, bro. I already did, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh uh, yeah. I'm about to drop it in here real quick. Let me just drop man, it. You're the G. You know, I, I really hope I gave you guys the value. You bro, know, thank um, you for this value, man. You're amazing, bro. No problem, brother. No problem, brother. Certified. Drop Certified. some love, guys. Drop some love. Cheers. Bro, how long All right, have you been I am, Dorian. How long have I been in it? Yeah. I've only been in it for five months. But yeah, see, the well, difference I'm, between me I'm and a lot of the people, I activated early. I didn't have time to play around. But... Like I said, peace, love, everybody. I love every last one of y'all. We're all going to the top. Yeah. The bottom is way too crowded, bottom, right? Bro. The bottom is way too crowded. But don't ever look down on anybody unless you're willing to help them up. Uh, peace, love. You guys be safe. Have a good one, bro. Bye-bye. Boy, -bye. it's just like crazy. Chavons That's like I... <laughs> like the manifestation is the realest thing I ever see. No cap. Ich wollte, <laughs> ich wollte ein Call mit the, uh, Ich hab diesen Dorian von einem, von einem ähm, Livestream von Daniel kennengelernt, weil ich feiere den richtig krass. Ich habe ihn geschrieben und ich wollte ihn sogar fragen, ob wir irgendwann mal einen Call mit Daniel machen können. Und guck mal, Hopp, heute hatten wir einen Call mit C10 Daniel Bush. Crazy. We attracted him, bro. Crazy. <lacht> Peace, Leute. Ich wünsche euch allen einen guten, schönen Abend, man. Startet durch. Jetzt können wir richtig durchstarten. Wir haben Love bekommen, wir haben Values bekommen. Let's go! Yes, get it. <laughs>